it's Julie. Today I have a beginner cardio workout for you. So if you are new to exercising or you're not quite ready to do more complicated workouts, this will be a great place for you to start. It is cardio, it is low impact. We are gonna keep our heart rate at a steady pace. So we're gonna go from one exercise to the next, next with just little rests in between. We're gonna warm up and cool down first. We will keep everything low impact, but I will give you the option to add in a little high impact if you want to challenge yourself, but it will just be an option. You're gonna keep the intensity up, even though the impact will be low. So I recommend you have a little water nearby, a little space around you so you can move, and some shoes. So are you ready to get started? We're gonna warm up and we're gonna get into this workout and get you on with your day. Let's start by marching in place just to get our body warm. So I just want you to pull your knees up as high as you can and let's start getting warm. So these are gonna be low impact moves, but I am gonna give you the option to add in a little jumping if you want to challenge yourself, but that's only gonna be an option if you want. A few more and then we're gonna go into squats. Take your feet hip distance apart and let's just squat back. We just wanna get our legs warm and ready to work. This exercise set should not be intimidating at all. They should be moves that you feel comfortable doing. Of course, I will give you any modifications if there's anything that could potentially be hard on your body or if it's out of your range of motion, I will give you an option to modify that. But pretty much you should be fine. And let's do one more. Put your hands on your hips and we want you to push your hips forward and then fold in half. Push your hips forward, fold in half. You should feel a nice stretch down the front of your hip flexors and then down the back of your hamstrings. Let's do one more. Now I want you to take one foot forward, doesn't matter which one, put your heel to the ground and your toe up. And I want you to sit back to a hamstring stretch, circle your opposite shoulder up and around. So it's like we're squatting back with one leg in the front while we get a little mobility in that shoulder and we're getting a nice hamstring stretch at the same time. Let's do two more. And let's switch legs. So take the other foot forward, put that heel to the ground and toe up. Let's sit back and circle that shoulder. Do you feel ready to work? Are you excited? You're gonna feel so great when you're done. So hang in there, there's no giving up. You can rest at any time, but you're not gonna quit, right? Let's do two more. And let's just cross our arms in front and open. Let's get them ready. Now some of these moves you'll probably have seen many times. So that will be familiar, and if there's anything new, just follow along, I will explain it as we go. Let's do a few spinal twists. So just twist right and left. And we're about ready to work. Okay, we are gonna start out with marches. So what we're gonna do is we're going to work for about 45 seconds, very quick little rest, and we're gonna move right to the next exercise. So you're gonna do march, march, double. So two singles, double, yes? What I want you to do is put your hands out so that you have somewhere to bring your knee to. As high as you can lift your knee is ideal. Are you ready? Okay, so take a deep breath. We're going for 45 seconds. We'll do a quick rest and then we'll move on and I'll tell you each exercise as we're coming up to it. You ready? Here we go. So let's go single, single, double, single, single, double. Now you're pulling that belly button in. You're standing up tall, your chest is open, and you're pulling that knee as high as you can. Now, if you want to make this harder, you can speed it up. When you go a little faster, your heart rate's going to get a little higher. And you don't have to smack your knee, you just have a place for your knee to come to. Ooh, are you breathing a little harder? there. 
and last one. Quick little break. What you're gonna do is kick, kick, knee, knee. Similar to what you did, we're just gonna add in a kick. Are you ready? Here we go. So let's kick, kick, pull your knee up, up, kick, kick, knee, knee. It doesn't matter how high you kick. So if you're right here, that's totally fine. If you wanna bring it up higher, that's great too. Do you feel it a little bit in your legs? You can slow this down if you need to, or you can speed it up. You do want it to do cardio, right? You have five seconds. We're gonna go into jacks without the jump and rest. Jack without the jump is just here. Still full range of motion with our arms. We're just tapping to the side. If you need to modify that, take out the arms. Are you ready? Here we go. So out, out. I recommend a little bend in your knees. So you're staying a little low. Bring those arms over your head. Sorry, my shoes are kind of squeaky on this mat. I apologize. will be another variation of a jack. So you'll have this move combined with something else. So that will be sort of familiar. So speed it up a little bit. Let's speed up. We have five seconds. And rest. How are you doing? Is your heart rate up? Mine is. So you are going to jack, touch back. Jack, touch back. Same Foot. We'll go to the side, straight back before we switch. Ready? Here we go. Out. Bring your arms front. Out. Front. So arms go front, leg goes back. Out. And out. There you go. How are you doing? Can you still talk to me? I want you to work at a point where you're breathing harder, but you can still talk. Hang in there. You're doing great. We have five seconds. You can do it. One more. And rest. If you need a sip of water, get one at any time. Your next move is what I call a lunge out. So similar to the jack, but we're gonna reach, reach. So one leg will bend, the other will be straight. Ready, here we go. Reach. So it is deeper movement than what we did with the jack. So you're sort of doing a little lunge to the side. So the leg that goes out is straight, the other one is bent. And you're reaching up. You're reaching for the stars. You're reaching for your goals. This next time through, we're gonna do this same sort of exercise but a little bit more challenging. You've got five seconds, hang in there. Can we speed it up? Let's speed it up. And rest. Woo! Same sort of idea, but we're gonna touch the floor. So we're gonna lunge out, touch the floor. This time back knee will also sort of bend at the same time rather than being straight. Are you ready? Keep your chest tall, here we go. So I still want you to be able to see me. I don't want your head pointing to the ground. So you're stepping out, touching the floor. If this is too much, I just want you to come here, put your hands on your thighs, yeah? That works too. But if you can touch that floor, do it, or at least reach to the floor. So if you're here and you're reaching but you can't quite touch, that's great. You have something to work towards, right? Hang in there. Give me five seconds. Almost there. And rest. Woo. 
Ooh, my heart rate is up. Sumo squat step outs. Starting in the middle, all you're gonna do, step out, come together, step out, come together. That's it. Super basic. Ready? Here we go. Step out, come together. So we're just stepping out, coming back to the middle. Try to keep those knees going out over your toes. So you are actually turned out. Your toes are pointed out rather than forward. Sink low if you can. Whew. You can get your heart rate pretty high and not jump at all. Hang in there. We're almost there, we got five seconds. We're gonna add on to this move and rest. I'm gonna get a quick sip of water because I'm getting tired. Okay, your next move, you're gonna squat, lift your leg. Squat, lift your leg. <clears throat> Excuse me, ready? Here we go, squat, lift. So it's just a little lift off the floor, not too high. There you go, a little lift. Now your knee should be pointing towards the ceiling, not forward, so it's not in a parallel. Our toes are going out to the side. Ooh, do you feel it? Hang in there. Ooh, this is a good one, right? We got a little cardio and leg toning going on. You can do it. We have three seconds, two, let's do one more. Rest. Okay. You're going into squat, step touch. So squat, back and forth, that's it. But you're gonna stay low. Yeah, you got it. Ready? Here we go. Back and forth, just swing those arms. So stay low. If you need to modify, come up high. But I want you to give it your all and staying low. We're working on those quads here. Chest is staying lifted. Breathing. Whew. I'm definitely breathing. How about you? Hang in there. We're going to add on to this exact move in the next round. So you should already be feeling comfortable with this step touch. You've got five seconds. Hang in there. You're almost there. And rest. This time, you're going to step touch lift up onto your toes. So with a little heel raise, step, touch, lift. If you wanna challenge yourself, step, touch, little jump. That's an option. Take a deep breath, ready to go, here we go. And touch, lift, and touch, lift, and touch, lift like you're a rocket. You're shooting to the stars, arms up. So we're in that squat, and we step touch, and now we're lifting up. If you wanna jump, little jump. That's up to you. If you're feeling like, I'm doing good today, I'm feeling strong, add a little hop, just to challenge yourself. Otherwise, stay right here. Hang in there. Whew. How are you doing? In three. And two, one more, and rest. Oh, that's a good one too. Okay, next, very basic move. Squat down when you come up, lift your knee. Squat down when you come up, lift your knee. That's it, squat knee left, alternating. Ready, here we go. Squat, lift, squat, lift. Now, your knee will lift. Pull as high as your range of motion will allow. So don't feel worried if your knee is not super high. If you're here, that's fine. Work in your range of motion, but challenging yourself, putting your effort in it, sticking with it, squatting down as much as you can if it's right here, that's fine. 
We all gotta start somewhere. Hang in there. Woo. How are you doing? You've got three seconds. Let's do one more on the other side. Oh. And rest. Okay, my heart rate's high. And we're not even jumping. All right, we're gonna do jump rope drills. You're just gonna bounce your heels and pretend you're jumping a rope. That's it. Ready? Let's go. So you're circling your wrist just like you had a jump rope in your hand. You can't trip on this jump rope. It's a magical jump rope. You're an expert at it. You just can't mess up at all. A little heel lifts. Let me move to the side so you can see. I'm just bouncing my heels. If you want to take this up, little tiny jumps, just like you're jumping a rope. That would be a more challenging option if you want to give it a try. Otherwise, right here, little knee bounce, little heel drop. Hang in there. How's your rope doing? Keep swinging it. Your elbows are kind of tucked in. We're not using our shoulders. It's really in our wrists. And rest. Okay, we have another variation of that. This time, we're going to jump rope with the heel touch. You're going to stay low. You're still swinging your rope. Touching your heel in front. You got this. Ready? Here we go. Get your rope going. Tap that heel. You can go as fast as you want here. So if you want to speed it up, try to stay low. Keep that core tucked in. So we're bracing our abs. We've got our belly button pulled in towards our spine. Our chest is lifted and our shoulders are down. We don't want to be here. It's not a good look. Let's not do it. Keep your shoulders down. If you wanted to take this up, you got a little jump. You can just try this for a couple of reps and then go back. That's a great way to start building up your endurance for that. Let's just add a little bit at a time. We're almost there. Hang in there. And rest. Woo! I got a tight ponytail now. It's getting serious. Okay, you have a touchdown. You're gonna be in that single squat position again. You're gonna touch the floor, reach to the sky. That's it. Touch the floor, reach to the sky. Ready? Here we go. Touch the floor and reach. Or touch towards the floor and reach. So if you're here, that's fine. If you're here, that's fine too. But try to get towards the floor if you can, but your chest stays tall. So what I mean is I don't want you here. No heads down, heads up. So that you can look at me. Your chest is tall. And you're just squatting in your legs, not bending in half at the waist. Hang in there. You got it. You're strong. You're working hard. Keep going. You've got four seconds. And three. And two. Let's do one more. And rest. Okay, we have another variation of that. So what you're going to do this time is you're going to squat and touch the floor. Reach one arm to the side. Come back. Other arm to the side. Yeah? Ready? Here we go. Touch the floor, reach. Touch the floor, reach. So a little twist here. If you're reaching out to grab something on the shelf, that's to the side of you. Chest is tall. You got this. And reach. And reach. Do we think we could speed it up? Let's try and down. Only if you want. You're almost there. Hang in there. And rest. Oh. That was good, right? My heart rate's pretty high. <laughs> We're going to do a burpee. No jumping. So what you're going to do, squat, Touch the floor, step back, step back, step in, step in, stand. That's it. Take a deep breath. I know you're getting tired. Fix your ponytail, let's go. Touch the floor, back, back, in, in, stand up, down. So you're going into a plank. Do your best. Now sometimes it's mental. Our brain is saying, no, we're done. We 
but you're actually really capable of a lot more than you think. So when your brain's saying, let's just rest, you tell it, no, we're gonna finish. We rest when we're done. And we're done. <laughs> okay, take a deep breath. We're going down to the floor. Ooh, got this hair on me, it's tickling my arm. And we're gonna be in a plank, and we're gonna do plank jacks, no jumping. So you're here, here's your plank. Touch your toe out to the side. Yeah? That's it, touch your toe out to the side. We are almost done, we're getting really close. Are you ready? Up on your plank, and let's go. Touch, touch. Now, while you're here, I want you to have your weight over your hands. So shoulder, lined up over the elbow, lined up over the wrist. Not back here, see that? We don't want that. Straight, flat back. Belly button is pulled in towards your spine. So this is a little bit of a core workout here. Hang in there, you got three, two, one, and rest. Bring it back up. How are you doing? Okay, this will be easier. Oh, are you guys sweating? How are you sweating? Lunge backs, so you're gonna lunge back. Alternating with your arms up. That's it. Just stepping back, stepping in, and we're just alternating. We can speed this up. If you want to make it a little tricker, trickier, you can jump it a little bit if you would like to. Ready? Here we go. And back. So push that foot out behind you. Reach those arms in front of you like you're getting ready to go flying. <laughs> like you're Superman. Super girl, that's what you are. You're hanging in there, you're working hard, you're just super. Hang in there, keep going. We're so close. And rest. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. I know you're getting tired, but you're doing such a great job. Okay, friends, we have one exercise left, and then we're gonna cool down. Take a deep breath. This one we're gonna go for one minute. So, this one, you're gonna have to go a little longer, so I'm giving you a little extra break. Let me show you what you're gonna do. You have two options. You're either gonna touch, you can do your arms like this, you can do your arms like this, but you're touching in front of you like there is a ball, a something on the floor you're trying to touch. Or you can hop while you do it. Okay, ready? Here we go. So you can touch it here. You can do it like you're doing the jump rope. Or you can add the hop, it's up to you. I'm gonna go 30 seconds low impact here, but I'm going to finish out with 30 seconds with a little jumping. This is a great way to just start to increase the intensity that you can handle. Doesn't mean you always have to jump to get a good workout because you don't. Sometimes it's fun to have the option. Here we go. I'm going to add a little jump to mine. Where I'm just switching my toes in front and I'm touching something on the floor. Hang in there. 15 seconds, and I'm not really jumping per se, I'm just adding a slight hop. We're so close, five seconds, hang in there. In two, one, finish. Oh, you did it, you did it. Okay, we're gonna cool you down. We wanna let that heart rate come down gradually, so I just want you to march in place while we bring that heart rate down. So, whenever you finish a workout, no matter what workout it is, don't just stop and walk away or stop and lay on the floor. Walk around your room, march in place, stretch a little, give your body a chance to cool down and let your heart rate come back down. We're just marching this out. A couple more, we're gonna go into some windmills. So take your feet wide apart, just touch, come to the top.
touch, come to the top. Or you can be here. If you can't touch the floor, that's fine too. We're kind of stretching a little bit. But while we're still moving, just let me let that heart rate recover. Couple more. Let's do one more. Now, what I want you to do, turn to the side, take whichever leg you want back, and then I want you to drop your heel towards the floor. So see how my heel's up? Now it's down. Then I want you to shift your weight forward so you get a stretch down the back of the calf muscle and your hamstring. If you don't feel it, you can go into a deeper lunge. But typically, the closer you get your heel to the floor, the more you're gonna feel that stretch. If you don't have enough flexibility in the calf and it doesn't go all the way to the floor, just push to where you can feel the stretch down the back of your calf. This is a wonderful stretch. I love this stretch. It's really easy to get tight calf muscles, especially if you walk around in heels or shoes that are high. Or if you're doing a lot of jumping and stuff, your calf muscles can get really tight and we need to stretch them out and sometimes we forget. Okay, we're gonna take this all the way down to a runner's lunge, so put your hands on the floor and then you're just sinking down. If you have to be up here, that's fine too. We just wanna stretch. We're stretching our hip flexors here. We're still getting the back of the hamstrings on this knee that's bent. Take a deep breath. How do you feel that you made it to the end of the workout? You should be so, so proud of yourself. And don't feel bad about wherever you start in your fitness journey. Everybody starts somewhere. We're not all great at it when we first start. We all have to start at the beginning and work our way up. All right, let's straighten both legs. So you're making a triangle and you're gonna bring your chest towards your thigh. If you can touch the ground, great. I just don't want your head to be what you're trying to stretch with. I want it to be your chest. So I'm not talking about nose to your knees. I'm talking chest down. So we get the stretch down the hamstring. And fitness is a journey. So it's something that you keep doing. It's a lifestyle. You don't do it every once in a while and hope you're gonna get results. It doesn't work that way, unfortunately. All right, bring the other foot in, come back up. So take the opposite foot, put that heel to the ground and let's do our calf stretch on this side. Whew. And you know, it is something you have to commit to. You have to decide you're gonna do it and you have to stay committed. You have to schedule it in your day just like anything else so that you make time for it. If you wait for there to be the perfect time, it won't happen. You have to set aside the time, even if it's just 30 minutes, even if it's a walk outside, whatever it is, you need to move. And I've been down these journeys before, had to lose a lot of weight in the past. I had three pregnancies where I gained a lot of weight. One of them, I gained like 55 pounds. That was a lot of weight to have to take off. But you know what? I did it through how I ate and moving my body. And it's been a long time since I've had a baby and I've been able to maintain that because I'm committed to doing it. So you just have to decide and commit. All right, let's go all the way down. And nobody can make that choice but you. I can offer you free workouts and I can try to encourage you, but you have to decide for yourself it is totally up to you. People can give you the tools, but you have to use them. And this is the day you're gonna do it, right? This is your commitment. You're gonna say, yes, I'm committing to this. I want to be healthy and I want to be stronger. I am gonna put out quite a bit of beginner workouts so that there is an option for everyone. And of course you can use different trainers too. I am not the only one around. There's a lot of great ones. Okay, let's straighten both legs so that you're in a triangle again, bringing that chest down. But I am so happy to have you here. And I would love to have you show up every single time that I post. And if you know of a friend that needs a good workout, share it with them too. Take a deep breath. Okay, we're gonna bring our feet together. Now, knees a little bit and you're touching the floor. I want you to try to straighten your legs and keep touching the floor until you absolutely can't. Straighten, straighten, straighten. So if you're like, oh, I can't and I'm right here, that's fine, stay right there. Do you feel the stretch down the back of your hamstrings? So the more that you can fold forward, wherever that is, even if it's here, wherever it's at, just to get the stretch, it doesn't matter where your hands are. Now we're gonna slowly roll up so that we don't get dizzy. Slowly up, 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 up all the way to the top. Take
take a deep breath up and just let it out. Let all the stress go. Let it go. There's nothing in the world bothering you right now. You're just working on you. All the way up. Okay, you're committing to yourself. You're gonna stick with this. You're gonna get yourself healthy and strong. Thank you so much for working out with me and I can't wait to see you in the next workout. Bye.